Okay, what we're looking at is a uh, Hewlett Packard model 5315A. It's a universal counter, 100 megahertz uh, is the rated uh, maximum frequency. And uh, it's two channels. Uh, I think the second channel is a uh, has two megahertz input, but uh, is used primarily uh, as a uh, either an event counter or a um, comparison counter, so because you can do ratios between the two uh, the two channels, and you can determine uh, ratios of unknown frequencies to known and so on. Uh, it's a it's a real beauty of a uh, of a meter. It's in flawless condition, um, as you can see from the front panel. It's really excellent condition. Um, sides, top, everything. There's uh, there's no scratches on it, no flaws on it. Nice handle. Nothing surprising about the underside. Uh, generally it's in excellent shape. Quite proud to be able to offer it to you. It'll make an excellent bench meter for anybody who wants uh, something that uh, performs well and looks excellent uh, and has the kind of a history that this Hewlett Packard has. It's uh, In its heyday Hewlett Packard was uh, absolutely one of the uh, top-of-the-line, world-recognized uh, leaders in electronic uh, instrumentation. Well, anyway, let's, uh, we are right now feeding into this uh, from a uh, Hewlett-Packard 3320 frequency synthesizer. And we are uh, currently feeding in a um, 10 hertz signal. And we are reading 10 hertz on the uh, on the meter right now to within uh, a hundredth of a hertz anyway. And we're going to go ahead and step her up. So here's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. There's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 6, 7, eight, nine, and we're going to take her to a thousand now. All right. Here we go. There's a kilohertz. 1.00008. Told you it was a pretty good uh, frequency generator. All right, we are uh, going to go 2,000, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10,000. All right. All right, we're at 10,000. We're going to go in 10,000 steps. There's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100,000. We are now going to go in uh, increments of 100,000. So we're at 100, 200, 300, 400. There we go. The dirty switch contact. 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. There's a meg. All right, we are starting off at a meg. We're going one, two, three meg, 
four, five, six million, seven, eight, nine, there's ten million. Okay, and at this point we're going to switch from this 3320 to a PTS 160. We're going to take it up to 100 million from 10. So let's uh, disconnect this. And let's connect up the PTS. Doing this one handed. Okay. Starting off at 10 million once again, and we are now running on the PTS, PTS 160 frequency synthesizer. This will synthesize frequencies uh, to great accuracy between 100 kilohertz and 160 megahertz. So we're starting out at 10. That's where we left off with the Hewlett Packard, which handled uh, the lower frequencies from a quarter of a hertz up to 13 megahertz. And uh, we're going to take her up in increments of 10 million at this point. So we're 10 million, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, gain there so okay we're up, we just up the uh, amplitude just a hair and we're getting it fine now 90 and then uh, let's go to 100 that's a hundred million we are now at the rated limit of the universal counter but we're gonna try and go up more let's uh, let's go up 101 2 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops, there's ten. And eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And at 15, she loses it, unless we kick her up again. Here we go. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Actually, there's 20. It's 130 million. 140 million. Hundred and fifty. So we've got all the way up to a hundred and fifty million with this, and it worked. I don't know that I recommend it, but at least I uh, know it'll do it. That's interesting. Okay, what I've done now is I've fed a hundred hertz signal in from this thirty-three twenty on channel B, and I have a hundred megahertz signal coming in on channel A. I can prove that by switching channel A here. There's 100 megahertz. And now I go to ratio of A to B. And what this is saying is I am 999.9 .9 times 10 to the third. So that's a thousand thousands, which is a, a million, right? So I am a million times greater on channel A than I am on channel B. Channel B is 100 hertz, channel A is 100 million hertz. There's a million times difference. Makes sense. All right, so let's go to uh, kilohertz. I now drop to 100,000 times at one kilohertz. 
So 1,000 times 100,000 is going to give me 100 million. Is that right? I'm 1,000 coming in on channel B, 1,000 hertz, but I am 100,000 times greater in channel A. So 100,000 times 1,000 10 cubed times 10 to the 5th, 10 to the 8th, which is 100 million. Okay, so let's uh, go 10,000. 10,000 hertz coming in on channel B, and channel A is 100 megahertz. I am 10,000 times... Cha channel A is 10,000 times the frequency of channel B. At 100,000 hertz, I am 1,000 times greater. At 1 megahertz, I'm 100 times greater. At 10 megahertz, I'm 10 times greater. So as you can see, channel B is working just fine, as is the ratio function. As can be seen here, um, this unit has the option installed for the uh, rechargeable batteries and uh, would assume that it's all in, in good condition but the batteries have long ago been removed because they're no longer any good batteries after five six years are bad anyway and and they would then risk a leakage to damage something but as you can be see by the interior there appears to have been no leakage no damage um, as usual, Hewlett Packard makes a marvelous looking unit. Glass epoxy boards, uh, high quality, uh, uh, some kind of copper anneal. I don't know what they use exactly, but it doesn't seem to tarnish like copper would. And uh, so I wanted to give you a chance to see the interior.